So welcome back to the channel everyone, Triple M here and today we have a Plex video and this is not a good video about Plex. So over the past couple months, couple years, we've seen that Plex has started making a lot of changes. First we see a lot of free content coming in, now we're seeing a lot of sharing and it looks like Plex is in the arms race to take over some of those free streaming services like your Pluto TV, Zumo and so on and so forth. But the problem is that when we initially started using Plex, the idea was that you can put your own media in there, you can get your content when you want, whether on the go or if you're in your household. So what's starting to happen is a lot of privacy issues are starting to pop up with Plex, including sharing your data, the information that they collect. And for that reason, I do believe that Plex has been losing a lot of subscribers. So what I wanna do in this video, show you some of those settings that Plex secretly has enabled that you wanna go in and disable turn off if you're a Plex user or if you're a Plex subscriber. So we're going to jump right into it. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, smash the notification bell. Let's go. All right, so I saw this across Reddit and also believe that SpaceRx did a video on this. So if you look right here, basically what Plex is doing is sharing your watch list, sharing the stuff that you're looking at with your friends and family. So uh, this particular person you see that was watching, I want your and friend, <laughs> and essentially emailed this information over to that person's contacts or friends and family within Plex. And of course, that's something that he didn't want to get out. So yes, I'm going to show you how to disable this setting as far as your family sharing. But also Plex has a habit of putting settings in places where no one can find them unless you're on a goose chase and you happen to stumble upon it so first let's go ahead and get into the process of disabling the family share and that way won't email your contacts or your friends and family your information of what you're watching all right so um, this is going to be under the discover together area so first thing you want to do guys is make sure you log into your plex account this is going to be on your web browser um, normally if you're in your household go to plex.tv and it should bring you to the login page plex.tv should bring you to a page like this but we want to go ahead and open plex uh, again if you sign in previously it might ask you for your your credentials but um, it might bring you to a sign in page where it shows what accounts you're holding so i'm going to go ahead and click on that all right so here i am in my plex and to disable those sharing settings where it emails your contacts what you're going to do is click on your profile you're going to go to profile then you're going to edit your profile all right, once you get to the edit page, you're gonna scroll all the way down. Right here under privacy settings, you're gonna go ahead and edit it. All right, so you can see um, by default, this is gonna share to a lot of folks, guys. My watch history, my watch list, my ratings, my friends, um, who can find my account, anyone. So just a lot of information there that you're probably um, better off not sharing with other people. So click the drop down. I'm gonna make all of these private. For the last option, you're gonna to have to choose the best of the three evils. So share to anyone that just opens you wide up, friends and family, that's two um, categories or friends only. So we can go ahead and click that. Once you hit that, go ahead and hit save and that should take care of those notifications, whatever you're sending out to your friends and family. So the next one we're gonna talk about is your privacy preferences. Now, this is one that again came up in the Reddit blog and if you're not someone who really goes deep and look for this stuff, there's no way you would find this. So basically this is a URL. Once you sign into your account, all you have to do is copy and paste this URL and it should bring you to this page. So you can see the privacy preferences, collect information about you, your device, the use, all kind of information in here, your account information, program guide data, personal data, account information. So just a lot on here. Um, and what you wanna do, and if you scroll all the way down even more, you can see that also has your network information, playback time, transcoding, your codec, just a lot of information, guys. And this is all being sent to Plex. And um, in order to disable this, <laughs> 
All you need to do is uncheck this box, but again, they put it in such a place that if you weren't really looking for this, you wouldn't find it. So all you have to do is uncheck this box. It should automatically save. But what I'm going to do is just refresh this page and see if it's still unchecked. And you can see that option is unchecked. Again, this is one of those things that if you weren't looking for, there's no way you would have found this. But in the background, information about your movie, your watch history, your devices, everything's being collected by Plex. And this at least is a option to kind of minimize some of the information that's being collected. The third one is gonna be email preferences. So by default, again, these are all gonna be checked. And by default, if you didn't know the exact URL, it's plex.tv slash email dash preferences then you wouldn't know how to get to this. This is not simply by going to your Plex and click on your account settings. These aren't easily defined or easy to find. So again, links will be provided. Also, we'll put a link to that Reddit blog where you can go ahead and watch the full discussion. And again, just shout out to everyone that contributed to that, really helped out a lot. So under the email preferences, uh, this is gonna uh, give you the option to opt out of some of those emails that you might get for Plex. You can see marketing emails are checked for Plex search, newsletter, podcast news, recommended free movies and live TV, sales promotions. And below that, they do have more email notifications. So when someone sent a message, when someone received a friend request, when someone comments on my activities, email me a summary. Um, these don't seem that bad because if you're someone that used that share feature or um, you have folks on your Plex, then these might be notifications that you want to get. But as far as this, I'll uncheck that every time. Recommended free movies, I'll uncheck that every time. Don't want to receive any of these emails. And again, I'll unsubscribe to all of these. But if you're someone who looks for these, looks forward to receiving these, you can leave these unchecked if you're looking forward to those notifications. All right, once you're done, update notifications and you should be all set. So again, I've been someone that that's used Plex for years. I've probably won the, the um, couple YouTubers that were uh, a premium subscriber to Plex during this streaming boom, as I like to call it. Um, got the Plex pass. I do a lot of videos or I did a lot of videos on Plex and um, I love the program, love the software, love what it does. But over the past couple years, a lot of changes have been made and I just feel like they're going in the wrong direction. So in the comments, let me know if this helped. Let me know if you're a Plex user. If any of these settings bother you, let me know which ones in the comments section. Of course, if you're new to the channel, subscribe, smash the notification bell. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.